Hello, welcome to this Excel 2016 video presented by the CIS Sandbox at Bentley University. My name is Jake O'Connell, and today we're going to be going over nested if statements. So the if function in Excel can be nested when you have multiple conditions to meet. The false value is being replaced by another if function to make a further test. So if we look at our sample here, we have the salesperson's name listed here, their customer rating, their sales goal, their actual sales, and then this category is where we want to say yes if they get a bonus and no if they don't get a bonus. So the requirements they have to meet to get a bonus are their, their customer rating has to be greater than or equal to 3, and that their actual sales have to exceed their sales goal. So what we want to do is we want to set up a basic if statement. So the first thing we want to check for is if their customer rating is greater than or equal to 3. So we can do that by saying, click here and say, if this is less than 3, so if that's less than 3, that means it's not greater than 3, so the value should be no. That means they don't get a sales bonus. However, if their, if their customer rating is greater than 3, which would mean if this test is false, then we want to have another if statement fill in instead of having a false value. So now we have a new logical test. So now that we know their customer rating is greater than or equal to 3, now we want to check to see if their actual sales outweighs their sales goal. So we can click here and then say, is that greater than their sales goal? And if that's true, then that means they do get a bonus. However, if that's false, even though their customer rating is greater than 3, it's still a no because their sales goal was less than or greater than what they actually made for sales. So we can close that off. So this is your final, your final formula. So that fills in, and then we can just drag down to fill it in for the rest. So just to go over that one more time, so we have, you're checking to see if the customer rating is less than 3, if it's not, if it is, then you want it to say no. So they're not getting a sales bonus. However, if their sales rating is greater than 3, we want to do another if statement to check whether their actual sales are greater than their sales goal. And if that's true, then yes, we want them to get a bonus. If that's not true, oops. If that's not true, then we want it to say no, they don't get a sales bonus. 